Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping down into the charts to take a look at what has been going on here with XRP. We had a good surge up yesterday, we're having a bit of a correction now. So I kind of want to go through you know, what this actually means and what I expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet done so, check out our discord links in the description down below fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there right let's uh let's jump on right down into xrp here and take a look at what's been going on with all of these kind of wave counts and what i think is likely to happen next so we're just uh paired up with usdt we're on the hourly chart binance is our data source and as you can see here we had these uh five waves come nicely to the upside here and uh, essentially we actually hit a high point here there wasn't actually a decent wave count inside here it was basically just an abc and um, which is rather unusual because you would actually expect this to be five waves so we actually had uh, an abc then we broke down uh, basically making sure it was not going to be an impulsive move to the downside here we actually have uh, a corrective move as well i expect probably a little bit of a higher bounce to the upside before more downside though uh, essentially this looks like it's going to be some kind of abc now i don't think this is actually going to be the low point i think we're going to potentially come up a little bit more first Okay, so uh, I think there's going to be you know, a little bit more room up, but then more room to the downside. So essentially what I mean is if I grab hold of this and I just throw this on to here, for example, uh, I think that we're probably going to come up towards the 90 cent area. Um, let me just throw that on something to this effect, I would have thought, right, it would come up just a little bit short of uh, where we were before. Uh, around the 90.6 maybe somewhere in that range uh, and then I think we're going to correct on down um, so as I remove that and I actually bring on a new Fibonacci retracement tool just from the bottom here up to the top and then we move this over to the top of that C wave I think ultimately this will then complete a correction that will be an A, a B and a C coming back down to 83 cent. Now in here, there is a good level of support right on that 786, that being 84.6 cent. So possible that actually that holds out. Okay, and to kind of just be very clear, what would invalidate this? What would make this uh, move uh, invalidated in either direction? Uh, to start with, if we go higher than our wave five here, okay, this actually being right up there at 93 cent, uh, chances are that, uh, you know, that would actually invalidate the low point, right? So uh, essentially, if we go higher than our 93 cent high, then we cannot have this 83 cent low, okay? Not within this particular wave count. Uh, likewise, if we want this uh, C wave high to come in at 90 cent, uh, we cannot go down uh, lower than our uh, low point here or this A wave, right? And that comes in at 85.2, okay? So essentially we need to make sure that that structure stays exactly as it is. And then we move on up towards 90 cent, then we move on down towards 83 cent, okay? So those are the kind of things I'm thinking here. Uh, we've got the stochastic RSI that would basically allow us to move up uh, the chart here and get us in towards that 90 cent range. Um, so that's not a problem. We have plenty of room here on this hourly chart to allow for that. Uh, on um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to quickly remove some of the noise because we don't want too much going on here so i'll just remove that uh, we come up into the four hourly chart you can see that there's a little bit of a correction still to play here on our stochastic rsi okay so essentially this will actually line up quite nicely for our move up a little bit and then our pull back down that pull back down should take us right down into the oversold area um, and essentially that would work out quite nicely the eight hourly chart does need a correction too so again a little bit of a correction could be had here if we, of course, uh, do see that uh, that low point come in for XRP on this correction. Um, the daily chart obviously is overbought, so we do need to see a correction there. And the weekly, guys, is up in the overbought area, so they do need to see a correction there as well. Uh, the monthly, though, uh, is actually in the oversold area. Okay, so essentially we've got some kind of midterm corrections that are going to be required here um, to kind of see this one through. Now, what actually happened yesterday was a completion of this ABC move, right? We basically went up to 93, a little bit higher than our 90.1. Uh, again, we can actually see that there's a lots of areas here that actually make this a really strong resistance line. Um, and you can see right across this pink line that I drew on here a while back and um, that this is a really good strong area of support. 
uh, and resistance. So essentially, this is what it's become. It's kind of a bit of resistance for us. And um, so we get rejected from here. We do actually have that correction come on down. Now, this is not an impulsive move. Um, and again, there's still potential uh, for more room to the upside. Uh, only ever so slightly, though. Uh, and that is because we could measure all of this as an A wave, this is a B wave, and this is a C wave. And if I go ahead and just show you this again, I know I've done this in previous videos, and we move this over, uh, here we can see that we move out towards 103, okay? Um, so essentially, yeah, these are the things that we're looking out for. An impulsive move would happen at 105, um, but I don't think we've got the, the momentum behind the price to allow for that. And 103, I think, is going to be a bit of a push anyway. So around that $1 level, uh, I think, is probably much going to be your, your top for XRP if it even allows us to continue this motion upwards. As I said, we have completed the ABC move, and as a result of that, we should be, you know, contemplating our corrective states now, our corrective moves down. So I'll go ahead and put that over there. Okay, so ABC up usually means ABC down, and we need to have a correction on our daily and our weekly chart anyway. Um, and as I said previously, right, there's potential to come all the way back down towards this uh, lower range and, um, you know, complete some of the, the other kind of ranges that we've got going on here. Again, we do have a larger ABC in play. Again, that takes us out towards uh, $9.97. That, I think, is going to happen if we actually complete the, the lawsuit or it gets closed one way or the other, like uh, win, lose, draw, settle. I've spoken about this before, um, but that's kind of where I think the, the end of all of this actually lands for XRP. At the moment, we're just coiling up into this triangular wedge. I think we're going to be testing the upper bound, and then we're going to pull back down, test the lower bound, and then I think, uh, that will actually tie up quite nicely with an explosive move with the lawsuit and um, bringing us up to, yeah, about 10x on the current price, approximately uh, a little bit more. Uh, more than that actually 10.3 so yeah essentially yeah not too bad here for xrp um so obviously we've rode it up we can take the profits we can kind of come on down those high risks of uh downside now uh, more than upside but you know it's still possible we rally up a little bit more it all depends on what's going on with the price momentum as to whether or not we are going to see uh, you know that kind of traction really hit home here with xrp so essentially we've completed the five waves uh we've got an abc coming down i think about 83 cents seems to be the low there and then we'll look for a bounce back to the upside uh, and if we actually zoom out far enough on this we can we can try to take a look at it slightly differently but the gain xrp is very much an overlappy um scenario here so you know wave Wave trying to count these as, as an impulsive waves, it, it isn't actually lining up nicely for this. So uh, we could, of course, you know, take a look at it from from this kind of perspective. Move that over to about here, maybe. Um, but again, we're not hitting any of the impulsive triggers, so it's just a lot of uh, choppy moves. as the occasional impulsive move here and here, um, but otherwise it's just a bunch of ABCs all strung together um, inside this ABC corrective move. So essentially that's what I'm thinking for XRP. I'm thinking that we're going to see a small push up, we're going to see a pull back down towards 83 cent, and then we'll see a slightly larger pull up in my opinion, unless that goes impulsive to the downside, which is unlikely. Um, and then I think we uh, you know, might have a good shot, uh, you know, a potential shot at uh, the $1 level um, before we actually ushering a bigger correction on the larger time frame. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.